Well, hello to all you funky people out there. Uh, I am popping on just to give a follow-up video to the Ape Born Fitness belt that I had gotten before. Um, doing it because Ape Born came out with a updated model of their belt. I reached out to them and asked them if they wouldn't mind sending me um, one of their new models so I could compare it to their old one and um, then take the next 30 days to use their new model and provide you with updates kind of weekly on where things may be sitting as far as um, my waist and uh, arms and then my weight um, over the next 30 days. <clears throat> so they graciously uh, accepted and they sent me their new device, which I'll show you in just a minute. And I'll kind of show you the old device as well so that you can see the differences. Um, but that's where things are sitting right now. So bear with me as I flip the camera around. Okay, so there we go. You can see some blueberries up in the corner there. Um, but <laughs> as you can see, we have their old devices, which is their, their waist and their arm device. And their new devices. Um, for their waist and arms and the part of the reason that um, I really wanted to focus on this as well is because I had provided feedback and I'm sure many other people also provided feedback it's not like they got my feedback and were like let's make changes just because of you obviously but uh, I provided some feedback and they made changes according to what was mentioned and I, I actually really think they nailed it with some of this stuff so I want to start with the armbands so first of all if you look at the arm how small the old one was and the problem with this is when you put it on your arm um, it has the the two silicon um, gel strips on the side but they wouldn't really stay down so we were having to tie them down with um, like a scarf or you know extra piece of fabric to try and keep the contacts firmly against the skin and so it was it was causing issues with stinging it was causing issues um, with uh, like contact um, burning and things like that so I had asked them if there was any way like with their old device with their belt this is this is the belt from their old device for the waist um, I asked them if there was any way to maybe do something with the belt like they had on the waist with the wrists so that you could actually keep it down and keep the contacts. And what they ended up doing was just adding fabric. As you can see, it's longer. The fabric now has Velcro on the sides and it just sticks now around your arm and it keeps that contact firmly against your skin. The other thing I want you to notice is the silicone pads are now gone. Instead of these silicone pads which need to be replaced every now and then, um, which I was also having issues with because you would peel the plastic off the back of the silicone pad to get it onto the belt and the silicone pad would start to come up. So I mentioned that to them and their solution was this they sewed in these pads that are there they seem like they're gel filled and they're like a um like a silicon still rubber on the outside but all you do with them now is you don't have to remove or anything you just take a little bottle of water you spritz it on both sides get the pads wet and then put them on and you don't have any kind of tingling or you know dry areas where you start receiving those uh, jabs of pain that are like contact burn type things and the other nice thing is if you look at the size of the pad the silicon pads that they had before are much smaller in area coverage than these new pads so these new pads actually give more contact to the muscle groups than these do and they're same distance basically as on the sides but look at that all the extra 
contact here and then a little bit of extra contact up and down. So that's the big difference with the arm pads. With the waistband, now you don't have a separate band that you have to fasten around the edge here and then strap around. It's all now one unit, it's all built in. These still snap on and off um, like the originals do, but I also want to point out, look at, it, it's, it just looks better. This is a little bit more cheaply made, a little cheaper quality. They went up and, and upgraded things a little bit. And in addition, um, I'm going to see if it'll let me show you on here. Probably won't because, up oh, there it goes. So now there's a timer that counts down at the top, 20 minute timer. You have in this area here is your intensity. Um, it's not going to do it because I'm not, I don't have this on and it detects that. But you can go up in intensity. Um, and then the modes now, there used to be six different modes on here, which were just um, designated by the lights on the top or the bottom, uh, which mode you're on, one, two, three, um, I think it was three different modes with two different settings on each mode. Um, don't quote me on that, I believe there, um, actually I apologize, there were two modes for three different zones, so you had a total of six modes, and then you had an intensity that went up to, I want to say, if I remember right, uh, 12? I may be wrong on that too, but I believe it was that. This one, um, you actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different modes. Uh, they go up to 20 now. And another big difference with them is this one, when you had it on intensity two, you could start to feel it. Three and four intensity, it was um, very strong. And for my wife in particular, she has sensitive skin. And so even on mode like, or even on intensity three, it was too much for her and it would, it would um, burn the skin a little bit. And she has a little bit of scarring because of it. This one here, you actually need to get up to about intensity seven or eight before you really start to feel it. Um, so people with sensitive skin, I believe, can actually use this at a much lower setting without resulting in those issues. Um, on here as well, comparing the belts, um, it does have um, silicone on the side and it's got four in the middle. The new belt still has the silicone on the sides, um, but as you notice, and I don't know how this is going to react yet uh, or compare, I need to use this device on the bottom some to, to get a better feel, but the pad isn't as long. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the muscle group coverage compared to the top one. Um, it might be something where they, they may want to consider uh, extending the pad out to be the same coverage level on the sides. Sorry about the, the phone, but um, this is life. And so um, maybe extend the pads out. Uh, the other thing is you've got four pads instead of eight. Um, however, if you look again, the pads are bigger than the silicon uh, adhesive pads. And because of that, I was looking, if we put them side by side and we kind of move it down, these two pads come up to about middle. The third pad almost goes, it's a cut off about here from the bottom one. So that is something else I'm not sure of. You're not getting as much coverage all the way up as you are with the old one, but the pads have a wider area that they're sticking to. You don't have to worry about the adhesiveness of it. It's again, just something that you spritz down and get wet. And um, 
with the extra modes and I, I don't know maybe because this is taller it gets the same amount of muscle um, contact as this one although I don't see how that could be because then you've got a whole extra pad so maybe something to also consider um, on uh, their end I don't know if it's something that they would be interested in doing or not but I think if they raised well expanded the fabric a little bit on this um, you could probably put a third pad and then you'd have the same coverage as this um, it would still be something uh, that would be a full belt coverage um, and then these would extend out to cover the same on the end uh, the top one the the arm bands I don't think really they need to do anything with this I think this is perfect um, the belt is the only thing I'm a little iffy on like I said maybe expanding it a little adding a third pad give the same coverage and extending the sides um, the other thing that I want to point out I thought initially that this band wasn't as large as the free band that they had on the other one I'm just going to point this out it actually is a little bit longer than the free band that they had so <clears throat> that is actually nice um, but all in all that's that's about it I just wanted to give a comparison between the two devices <clears throat> from their old and their new provide them with this video feedback as well so that they can maybe consider extending those out and, and making adjustments to the belt area um, very very impressed with the way that they have sewn those silicon pads in sorry I got too close to the camera uh, that they have sewn those silicon pads in and made them so you don't have to replace them very impressed with that um, and very impressed with the full coverage of the bands that they now have with the velcro uh, also impressed with the increase in modes from six modes to what did i say 16 um one two three four five six twelve i think um modes on their new belt and with the intensity levels being as they are now so that people who have more sensitive skin I have a better use with it so all in all um, I will keep you posted gonna start using these belts um, let's see today is Tuesday so I'll start them tomorrow <clears throat> and then I will keep up with it for 30 days I'll give weekly updates as far as how things are going um, if I'm noticing changes in my waist size or my arm size uh, and my weight but hope you enjoyed uh, Apeborn Fitness, once again, thank you very much for providing us with these devices to try out. They also did send me a hip and glute uh, device. I'm not going to put that on camera. Um, nobody needs to see that, trust me. But I will let you know how, how that works. My wife even said it. My wife said, nobody needs to see that. Um, <clears throat> But that one, that one's going to be a little bit of a, a little different uh, take. I'll, I'll provide them with feedback directly on that, um, just because it's it, it's not that easy to put on just with one person, and it, it, huh? Just on the one side though. You put it on the other side. Anyway, that <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I'll provide them with the feedback on that and see if there's any type of adjustments that they're planning on doing. Those ones still use the silicon replaceable pads. So thanks again. Um, keep an eye out for the updates. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It will help out. Give a like if you enjoyed the video. And I hope this was helpful and informative to you. I personally would say currently if you're looking at buying one of these um, electrostimulant devices, um, there's Tactical X out there that we tried. I, I would steer away, honestly. The devices were kind of cheaply made. That was fo featured on the previous video. Um, 
But between 8-Born, if you're looking at it and you're looking at their old device or their new device and wondering which one to go with, go with their new ones. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.